Nigerians are divided over the recent protests of the Islamic movement of Nigeria in Abuja. The group took to the streets of the federal capital to mark the movement's Ashura Day celebration across the 19 northern states of the federation. Irrespective of threats by police claiming the movement remains a prescribed organization, a correspondent, Amadine Uyi, tells us more. The Ashura Day procession by the Islamic movement of Nigeria was expected to commence at exactly 8 a.m. However, unlike its past protests and processions, this one was short-lived as the Nigeria police force had put its personnel on red alert saying it will engage the protesters since the group remains officially proscribed. One eyewitness who witnessed the protest spoke to Plus TV Africa. When I arrived here at the Monkey uh, Park, yeah, I went to see one of my friends who, uh, who is into baking. It was around 8 o'clock. Uh, all of a sudden, we saw some people from the, we say, as is coming in their numbers, uh, shouting their normal to uh, uh, trying to, uh, their possession. They were involved in their possession. And uh, all of a sudden, we saw some people also trailing them, including a lady. They make some discussion, and those guys left to us. The beggar. This is the Zone 5 junction located at Wuse in Abuja. To my left is the popular Wuse market, and also to my right is the popular and ever busy uh, beggar roundabout. Now, according to eyewitnesses, they, they say the protesters commenced their protest from somewhere around there and followed this route and terminated it abruptly somewhere just at the next junction, just before the uh, beggar uh, roundabout. Now, though there were no clashes between the protesters and uh, the police, the Nigerian police maintains that protests by members of the Islamic movement remains banned within the city center. The issue in here is uh, these people are not is disobeying the law because the federal government too is not, the, uh, they are not obeying the law because federal government too are not obeying court order. So, but two wrongs in this situation cannot make a right. So, if the, if, if, the federal government want them to obey the law. I think I think the federal government should do the needful first. They should obey the law first. They should obey the uh, court of competent jurisdiction by giving this man, um, um, giving him um, opportunity to go abroad and seek good medical uh, care for himself. And whatever doctor he wants to treat him, they should allow him to, to allow them to treat him. That's to supervise and let this issue rest rest up, please, because. People are really, really suffering. You know, each time they come out, you see they block different routes to that, inside a city center, and it's causing a lot of hardship to people. This issue of uh, government and Ezaki, the Shiites, to me, I think government has uh, issued a prescription order, stopping them, banning them, to parade, banning them for parade themselves as an organization. And uh, the issue is, there's nobody, no group, no association eh, that is above the federal government. Government, government of the day has issued a position of that. Don't do this. Okay, they, I understand. I, the, other, the other day I was listening to the news. The, their PR also was saying that uh, they are challenging the position order, order at the court. They should have waited for the court to give verdict on the issue. She understand. Once government says they are banned, I think they remain banned. Not until that ban is lifted. From Abuja, Amadine Wee, Plus TV Africa.